You can ask about anything you want. Anything. All right, here we go, guys. Yep. I'm Lauren from Daily Candy, and we're here with Eddie Wong, author of Fresh Off the Boat, his new memoir. Why don't you tell us about the picture on the front of the book? I liked it because I would never look at the camera <laughs> And they couldn't get me to take a photo, so they gave me this car. And then when they gave me the car, I tried to eat it, and they just snapped the photo. That's I was definitely the kid that would like drink milk through his nose and eat glue. Like I was that kid. <laughs> I had to be taken to the emergency Somehow room. Somehow I believe that. Yeah, like for Thanksgiving, you know, you make the mosaics where you put dried corn and you make stuff. Yeah. I like put all the dried corn in my ear, <laughs> oh, and no. I had to go get it like removed at the hospital. <laughs> so I was that. Well, dude. maybe it was you showing an early passion for food. Definitely, definitely. Like <laughs> so... very creative with food. Products. Good. Well, speaking of being creative with food products, what are we making today? We're making today. This is the signature dish at, at uh, Bao House. It is the Chairman Bao. It is uh, our version of the Taiwanese gua bao, which is something you'll find in Taiwan it, on the street since the late 1950s, early 1960s. It's using the same sugar dough that most uh, Chinese or Taiwanese uh, bread is made of, mantou, cha so bao, things like that. We steam ours in lotus leaves, it gives it a little more this, flavor. Do you yep. ever just eat it plain? No. No, that would not be crazy, really. but I could. Yeah. I usually eat rice, to be honest. Yeah. People of your ilk like bread more. <laughs> but <True>. no. <laughs> it's a sugar dough, and we steam it, it's folded open, and it's kind of like in the shape of a yeah. taco. And this is our house relish. Right? What is in that? This is pickled mustard green, and then we saute it. It's a little bit spicy. Yeah. We use a chili oil, we infuse it. This is a pork belly, and you know, we didn't show you how to make this. This is a long three hour process. If someone wanted to make this at home, what, what do you suggest? I would suggest they probably make Momofuku bows instead, because <laughs> it's a little easier. And fly to New York. And, and fly to New York and, yeah. and try this, yeah. Okay. There you go. Some cilantro. Peanut, Taiwanese red sugar. Here you go. Can I have it? Yeah, you can have it. You're good. You're a good man. It's good. It's you delicious, did the right? right? Thing. Yeah. I'm making a huge mess right now. No worries. I got you. Turn here. I got you. Right there. <laughs> there you go. Pretty Sometimes good job. I help ladies clean peanuts off their face. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks, Eddie. No, you're welcome. Thank you, Daily Candy. <laughs> this is cilantro. <laughs>